if you already started with long open string exercise and did exercise number one now we're moving to an exercise i call big bubble and i hope that once i play it for you you'll see why i call it big bubble so here's the big bubble exercise And so on. Uh, as you can see, I traced a big bubble. What was going on in my head was one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I recommend starting it really, really slowly. At the point when you are approaching the string, I recommend almost slow down the count and really hang for a moment here at the beginning while you're learning and imagine that you're a great pilot who is going to land this boat such way just the same way as a great pilot would land that the passengers would almost not feel it so you're that great pilot As you can see, again, I did open my entire arm for every bow. That would be the idea. Then you will try this exercise on every string again, on G, two, three, and on E eventually, two, three, four. You will do on every string. And then you will reverse. We'll start with the tip and go to the frog. Let me try a couple. I'll start again with the middle. Oof. Did you notice what I did? Noticing is one of the best strategies to become a better player. Notice your issues. I, ch I, touched, I touched some other strings. Let me do this again. Big bubble, big bubble, big bubble, big bubble. And you will repeat this on every string. Really be patient again with yourself. Take your time. No hurry. Um, this motion is more difficult than this one starting from the frog our frog is easier so practice some patience again think about that great pilot which can land who can land without shaking people inside of the plane